it's your girl Jay and today I have a very exciting announcement for you all. I was chosen as one of the 13 hosts for the Spooktober readathon this year and I am so 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 excited about it. If you guys don't know, Spooktober is a readathon that was created by Vanessa from Paper X Fairy and she created this like five years ago I believe and I've always loved participating and just like I've always loved this readathon because October is my favorite month because it's my birthday month but also like I love Halloween so to actually be a host this year is super exciting so without further ado let us get started so the readathon is going to be from October 1st to October 31st, so the whole month of October, and this year the theme is a Halloween party since we are all in COVID-19 era. There's gonna probably be no parties or Halloween or anything like that this year, which is so depressing because I love seeing all the little kids come to my front door, but it's fine! So this year we have four different parts of the party that you can participate in. You can combine different challenges for different books if you want. Like, it's a super chill readathon. There aren't really any restrictions on anything. So the first area that we have is the costume party and you basically get to pick what costume you want to wear. So you can pick a scary costume which is to read a horror book, a silly costume which is to read a book that you think will make you laugh, a fantasy costume which is to read a fantasy book, a couple's costume which is to read a romance book, or a besties costume which is to read a buddy read. And you can also combine these challenges like I said so if you want to be like a zombie mermaid like Vanessa said in her video then you can read a horror book and a fantasy book and then you complete two challenges which is super dope. The next area that we have is the refreshments area which is by far the best area of any party in my opinion but we have a lot of options that you can choose from so the first is punch bowl a book with a character who fights you can have eyeball soup which is a cover you can't stop eyeballing this is my favorite challenge miss lovett's meat pies which is a book with a character you think will be unlikable you can have devil's food cake which is a black cover or you can have a candy bowl which is to take a small piece of candy and read a novella or a graphic novel and then we of course at a party need to have a dance floor so we have a playlist that you can choose from. The first challenge is Monster Mash, a book with a monster literally or figuratively, whichever you want. The second is like my favorite song because Hocus Pocus is my favorite Halloween movie ever, but it is a book with magic. Then we have Time Warp, which is a book set in a different time. Superstition, which is based on a folklore or mythology. And then Thriller, which is to read a thriller. And then we have the festivities that you can choose from and those are Carve, jack-o'-lanterns, which is a face on the cover, bob for apples, sink your teeth, and read a tome, which I will probably not be doing because I don't like big books. Then we have hang out with the pets, which is 100% what I do at every single party. Eat and hang out with the pets. And that is to read a book with an animal on the cover. And then this challenge I think is the most creative and the most fun out of all of the ones that we have. It's trick or treat. So you choose a book you'll think you'll love and a book that you think you'll hate. And then you have to flip a coin and whichever one it lands on is the one that you're reading. So those are the reading challenges for this year. But we also also have photo challenges from the 1st of October to the 13th of October. Those can either be uploaded onto Instagram or Twitter and all you have to do is tag us in it and we can like hype you up and stuff. We aren't doing any prizes this year just because it's a chilled year and I'm pretty sure like shipping and everything is still kind of shut down anyways so... But the first challenge on October 1st is October Reads. The 2nd of October is a photo you took the night of a full moon, which is actually October 1st, so all you have to do is take a picture on October 1st, upload it on October 2nd. The 3rd is an October Craft. 4th is October Decor. October 5th is Books and Candy. October 6th is Something That Scares You. October 7th, Blackout Poetry. October 8th is a favorite October treat. This can either be something you made or store-bought. Again, super chill. We don't care. We just want to see your pictures. October 9th is a fall aesthetic and then October 10th is spring aesthetic because all of our southern hemisphere friends are in the spring right now so we want them to feel included as well. October 11th is to continue a book cover. So for example, I have this book. I'm going to put a piece of paper on top of it and finish her head or like on the side and like, I don't know, put something there on the bottom, finish her dress, you know, that kind of thing. But I think this is 
like a super cool and an opportunity to be super creative with yearbook challenges, photo challenges. And then October 12th is to show your reading spot and October 13th is a bookish costume which I am probably the most excited for just because I love seeing everybody's creativity in their costumes because I have no creativity when it comes to costumes. I'm like your generic cat, devil, witch. I'm, I'm not creative like this. Also, this can either be like a full-blown costume or just like an outfit of the day based off of a character that you like, whatever you want. Again, super chill. And then the last thing to be announced is that we are bringing back the movie nights. The schedule for the movie nights is still in the works, so Vanessa will tweet out the schedule once it's complete on the Spooktober Twitter, so make sure you follow that. We also created a full different Twitter for the spooky movies, so that's at spooky movies. I'll leave everything Thing I'll link down below if you guys want to you know go follow those because the movie nights are a lot of fun basically we all have a movie we press play at the same time and then we kind of like live tweet each other while we're watching the movie it's a lot of fun definitely suggest you guys check it out but like I said the schedule's in the works so we'll let you know when that comes out but yeah I think that's all you guys need to know for spooktober I'll leave everything down below the host links the twitter the instagram the movie twitter like everything is down below so check that out and I really really hope that you guys join us for the month of October. I'm so excited to be hosting and I hope you guys RSVP to our party. See you in our next video. Bye!